becoming a civilian again was kind of daunting, but I was excited about it. But it definitely felt like a lot because it was gonna be on me to kind of navigate that journey. I joined the Army in 2015. Uh, I was a mortarman, 11 Charlie. I went to basic training in Fort Benning down in Georgia, and then I was stationed in Fort Drum. Did a tour in Afghanistan in 2016. Um, did some training in Louisiana and White Sands, New Mexico. And then I got out in 2019. I was thinking a lot about what I wanted to do in the civilian world while I was still in, thinking about transitioning. I knew I wanted to go to school, um, but I wasn't really sure exactly what line of work I was gonna be in. Um, it was just my goal to get my degree. Um, I knew I wanted to go into business, but ultimately, uh, you know, I was just, I was nervous about what, what it was gonna be like when I got back home to my home state. It had been so long and I had gotten so used to a military lifestyle. One of the biggest challenges about transitioning out of the service, I think, is feeling comfortable asking for help. As a transitioning service member, you, you have goals, but at the same time, you don't really know what resources are there to help you. And so what the VVN does is it assembles all the resources on the state, national, community level, it centralizes them for the veteran, and it allows them to sort through based on their needs. Um, if they have the problem they need to solve, uh, something they need to work through, and there's an organization or a resource there to help them, it makes it easy for them to find it. So I used my GI Bill benefits after I got out to go to school, so I went back to Northern Virginia Community College, two years, transferred to William & Mary. I got my undergrad degree there and I had about nine months of benefits still burning a hole in my pocket that I figured I might as well use now. And I used that, I graduated in 2023. Last summer I got a job with the Virginia Department of Veterans Services as a data analyst. Um, so for them, I've just been supporting their mission of delivering services and resources to veterans in the state. It's been really rewarding. I, I didn't think I realized how much it would, how familiar it would feel working with veterans again and working for that cause. I'm really excited that the VBN is available for transitioning service members now because I remember what it was like when I got out and I didn't really feel comfortable asking for help like I should have and I didn't really know where to look. I would encourage Virginia's veterans and their families to use the network. It's free, it's easy to use, and it's designed to help them.